one, just directing and leading your life, but most importantly for us for World AIDS Day in helping young people make the right decisions. There are very key values and skills you learn in sport which can easily be translated into, into real life. And so I want to talk to young people about those values and skill sets and, and, and showing them practical ways and giving them tools of using leadership on and off the ground. So yeah, that's why I'm here. You, but you're doing it and you're rolling it out. Yeah. How does it feel when you meet those kids who are like at risk out in like difficult situations and all of a sudden say, hey, I've got an option for you. How does it make you feel? It feels really good because one of the things that I love about sports is that it gives you an opportunity to, to, to own your space. So even though you're playing within a team um, or it's a solo game like tennis, um, <laughs> you've got to be sure of who you are. And I've found, especially for adolescent girls and young women, the first step for any key driving message for HIV and AIDS is that young people who are sure of who they are, they, they know who they are, they know what they want, usually are young people who stay away from risky sexual behavior because they know what they have to lose. So that's what I love about sports and, and, and mixing it with HIV prevention for young people especially. No, beautiful. So you've got your big match temperament teaching them sport, but you've got to have it for life as well. Right? Absolutely. It's not something that can be on, an, on, on, on a field for 90 minutes over a soccer game. It's every single minute. You apply it. It's an application that you can't... You know, you've got to be able to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and your boyfriend is forcing you to have sex without a condom. It's got to be something that comes and goes, whoa. No, I'm deciding that that's not going to work for me and if you're not going to do it the way that I want to, I'm taking back consent for having the sex with you. So that's the kind of thing I want young people to have at any given point in time, outside of the game, on the street, everyday life, that's, that's what I want to achieve for them. That's beautiful. And you see, you're feeling that sort of success happening oh, when you're yeah, changing these kids? definitely. It's happening. Young people are, are in control. Um, y you know what I've found is that young, it's not that young people don't know how not to get HIV. They struggle with, with the tools they require in the moment to make the right decision. Sometimes it's confidence. Sometimes it's socioeconomic issues about... I mean, stomach politics are real issues, you know, when, you, when you're needing to put food on the table and negotiating condom use, mm, okay. it's, it's a struggle for young people, but they are wanting to do it. They're, young people are energetic in South Africa, and um, given the right tools, they can change the trajectory of this HIV so incredibly that we can really get to an HIV-free generation by 2030. Oh, awesome, Super. You've got the energy, you've got the passion, you've got the drive, and you're sharing those skills. Thank you so much. Thank eh? you so much for having me. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Got it, got it, got it.